Hello and welcome to this Brightspace Basics video. We're going to be taking a look at some basic functions of Brightspace that will assist you with setting up your course. A best practice for setting up a course in Brightspace is to work from left to right along the red navigation bar. The first stop on the navbar is the course homepage. On the homepage, you will find several widgets. Some of these include announcements, where you can post announcements that everyone in the course will be able to view, the content navigator, which directs you to specific content in the course, and the calendar, which automatically updates when new items, like quizzes and assignments, are added in the course. The next stop on the navbar is content. This is where all of your course material will live, from the syllabus, to slideshows, articles, videos, and more. Setting up the content section is very straightforward. Click on New Unit, which will create a new folder to store content in. For example, you can title the unit Weekly Modules and house all content from each week of the course in subfolders within this unit. Or, you can name the unit Week 1 and separate the weekly content into individual folders. Once your units are created, you can upload slideshows, articles, documents, video links, and much more. After content is Assignments where you can build assignments by clicking on New Assignment. A screen will appear that will prompt you to give the assignment a name, description, point value, due date, and much more. You can attach documents, rubrics, and other items to the assignment and edit its properties in the drop-down menu on the right-hand side of the screen. Following assignments, we move to Discussions. Here you can create new forums, topics within each forum, and modify the abilities that students in your course will have when making posts. This tool works very similar to its counterpart in Sakai. Next on the navbar is Quizzes. You can create assessments here by clicking on New Quiz. You'll notice that Quiz Setup looks very similar to Assignment Setup, where you can add a description, assign a point value and a due date, and make modifications to the properties of the quiz in the drop-down menus on the right. At the bottom of the screen, you'll be able to create new questions of which you will have several options, like multiple choice, fill in the blank, written response, arithmetic, and many more. A best practice when building quizzes is to start in the question library, where you can build sections and questions and then import them to your quiz. Finally, we arrive at Grades. A best practice when creating a Brightspace gradebook is to use the Setup Wizard, which will allow you to choose various options, like whether you want a weighted or point-based gradebook. Once you've completed the Setup Wizard, you can begin to enter categories and items into your gradebook. An example of a category would be Assignments, of which there could be three in the course. Each one of those assignments would be an individual item that would be placed under the category in the gradebook. And with that, you should be ready to build the foundations of your course. That concludes this introductory video to Brightspace Basics.